What's up, guys? Hope everyone is doing amazing today. So today I want to help you guys. I want to help you to find the best interest on Facebook. What is the best interest for your product? Because there's actually a strategy to find the best interest for your products. And if you don't do it well, then you won't find good interest. And that's one of the reason that you're going to make either a massive, a massive amount of sales or no sales at all, or probably breaking even. Interests are very, very important. The product is first. Don't get me wrong. Product is first. The offer is second. And the third is the interest. The interest is there to show it to the right audience. If you're selling a product for cats, but you're advertising it to people that play golf, then nobody's going to buy from you nobody so please make sure that you choose the right interest and that's what i'm going to do today with you so how to choose the right interest for this video i will take an example as let's say a random product that i took on aliexpress and we're going to basically build the interest so i'm going to share with you how do i go from easy to maybe harder ways to find interest. So the easiest way, let's go with, with the easiest way, let's start with this product right here. So the first thing is we want to analyze this product. So this product, if you look closely, you're like, okay, so this is a camera, a camera phone case, a vintage camera phone case. So maybe, maybe that people that are interested in this are, interested in vintage stuff or interested in camera or you know interested in things like this so yeah so the first interest will be pretty simple let's start with camera that will be the first interest camera photography pretty simple pretty straightforward so that will be my first one my first one if after that, I want to find other related ones to give me some ideas. I go on suggestion. So digital camera, photographer, photography, photography, visual art, uh, travel, photography, Nikons. Okay. So there's, you know, there, there's a lot of things right here. So that was my first guess. So camera photography. That's the first thing. The second thing is, okay, what kind of things that is similar to that, that I could add on? Okay, so photographer, photographer, photography. So people that are photographers are people that are, will be interested in, in this. After this, what I also like to do is, you know, on here, there's not a lot of, you know, there's maybe Canon, there's Nikon, but not a lot of them. So what do I do? I mix it with AI. So bear with me so i come just right here and uh what i say is i just write down give me the most popular camera rents okay so as you can see right here canon nikon sunny but okay Great. Normally, I don't go with the obvious. Like those, the top four, I don't go with it. Why? Let me explain you why. Well, a lot of people will go to the same direct, direction than me. So if they will think about the same thing that is obvious, camera, and they will probably think about Canon, Nikon, and Sony. So those are probably going to be the most expensive interest. I'm not saying that eventually I will not target them, but when I start testing, it's something that I try to uh, push it further. So Panasonic, oh, let's see this right here. Great, oh no, not employers, Panasonic. Panasonic, consumer electronics, perfect. So now we have this. Now let's say another one that I would like, Olympus. I have no idea what's Olympus. Pen camera, okay? You have this right here. 
Le Leica, those brands, th this is really the way to find like really untap, um, uh, like key like keywords, untap words because you will be able to really target the perfect audience and maybe an audience that hasn't been tapped before by uh searching with AI. So now we have this right here. Now we want to search like where people would use camera. Obviously we know, but let's say, okay, okay, travel. So people that like to travel. So we'll do this also. So now we're like with the obvious. The first thing is we want to find what is the obvious interest camera after that. Okay. Give me all the things related to that one. Perfect. I find photographers, stuff like that. Okay. Now it's more, give me camera brand. Uh, but I don't took the obvious ones. I don't take, uh, I didn't take the obvious ones. Okay. Now it's more, I want to add more like, um, like where, like what kind of people use it? So travel. So let's put travel here. We can do frequent 12 travelers. We can do also. Travel websites, people that, that are interested in travel websites. Trivago, Airbnb, all of those places are very good. That's That would be like another kind of interest that it would do. Security and surveillance. Yeah, but this, this is not the kind of camera that I'm looking for. It's more phone phone case. And, you know, another one that that's after, you know, that's why you need to think about every possibility. Because I, I did think about camera, but I didn't think about phone. Phone iPhone, smartphone. Great, we have this. But now, this is where you need to think outside the box. Have you seen someone? Have you seen, like, be honest in the comments. Be honest. Have you seen someone, or is it the majority of people, that when they buy a smartwatch, like Apple smartwatch, they don't have an iPhone? Normally, when you have a smartwatch, like, Let's say when you have a um, yeah, Apple Watch, you will have an iPhone. Uh, you rarely see someone with an Apple Watch, but without an iPhone. Normally, if you have an Apple Watch, you have an iPhone. So this is an extra interest that it's not 100% related, but they have an iPhone. So we'll do Apple Watch. Apple Watch. Great. We have this right here. What are the things? You know, I, I will not maybe use uh, AirPods, things like this, because maybe you have AirPods, but you don't have iPhone. Uh, maybe you have an iPad or things like this. So, but a smart, like uh, an Apple Watch, normally, like, like in my life, I've never seen someone with an Apple Watch that doesn't own an iPhone. Could happen. But the majority of people, you know, they own an iPhone. So now we have a lot of interest from camera to photographers to a different brand that are not obvious to find. Uh, we have Apple, uh, like Apple, Apple Watch. We have iPhones. You can, we can also do. Is there phone accessories? Phone. Phone. Phone gadgets. Phone gadget could be good. Pretty simple. Sometimes, let's say, if my product is has a very large audience. So let's say this is photographer. So it's pretty niche down. But let's say if I'm selling a razor. If I'm selling a razor uh, for, let's say, women, specifically for women, then I know that pretty much every woman shave or a big, a big junk. So what I would do is I would do no interest. I would let Facebook direct to the 
possibility of maybe searching for the right audience themselves. So I will do no interest as well. But when it's too specific, like a phone case camera, I try to not do no interest. They don't work that well uh, when it's too specific. You want it broader, broad, broad, broad. So, you guys, this is the way, you know, that I um, find my interest. Uh, try to think outside the box. Don't overthink it, but try to think outside the box. This should take around maybe 30 minutes. This is what it takes me. So if it takes you 30 minutes, it's great. If it takes you like five hours, you're doing nothing good. Um, because at the, at the end of the day, it needs to be common sense. And it, there's not, there's no wrong and bad, but there's better. And that's what we want. We want the best. So yeah, guys, I wish you all an amazing rest of your day. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. And see you on the next video. Take care and peace out.